your jump around. Get your freak on, get your freak on. Get your, get your, get your, get your, get your freak on. Oh, yeah. Welcome, welcome. Here's a huge act, my ladies and gentlemen. What are you doing down there? <laughs> Feeling for the... <laughs> That's why nothing wrong with that. Oh, nice. Look. Hey, hey, hey. Nice. You don't see much of that in L.A. <laughs> How lovely to have you here. How great to have you on the show together. Thank you for coming on, Hugh. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you Hallie. Thank you. It's my first time. This is exciting. It is your first time. Let's hope it's not your last now. <laughs> Look at that. One of the most beautiful women in the world. One of the most ruggedly oh. handsome men. And Hugh Jackman as well. <laughs> <laughs> on the chair. <laughs> Uh, I know you two are both in relationships with separate people, but blimey, you'd have great-looking kids, wouldn't you? Imagine that. <laughs> we gave them up. They'd yeah. be unstoppable. They'd be an unstoppable force of nature. No, it kind of hey might now. happen. No, 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 hey no, 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 no. Let me. I have a son who's six, who's kind of dating Hallie. Oh yeah. So oh, once yeah. removed, there could be sort that, of well, Jackman. She'd have to wait children. at least five or seven years, I would have thought, for him to mature. <laughs> so he's uh, he has a, a crush on Hallie, does he? A huge crush. I, I, I'm not well, joking. Tell the truth. He dumped me. Well, okay. He, had he a, recently he dumped did. me. How do you were dumped by a six-year-old? I've been dumped by a mall. <laughs> he dumped a, me. What a what terrible was... blow to a woman's confidence that must be. Hallie, <laughs> Hallie is like my son is in awe of Hallie, and then we go to this party, which is actually for my daughter's uh, christening, like a baby shower. And Hallie doesn't have her storm wig on, and my son sees Hallie with her real hair. So he likes you with the white and, wig? Yeah, he comes up to me and he's like, Dad, I can't get used to the hair. In fact, <laughs> I'll never get used to the hair. <laughs> and I said, what do you mean? She's not your girlfriend anymore. She said, she'll never be my girlfriend. Oh, my and I said, I said, Oscar, you're going to so regret that. <laughs> Just back off a little. Okay. Um, OK, I'm delighted there's another X-Men movie. I've seen it. It's great fun. And I'm pleased to say they've given all the characters a little bit more meat, a little bit more, a little bit more character, in fact, particularly yeah. Storm. Storm finally got a personality. Yeah. <laughs> this time I was really happy. You know, the first two movies, I liked Storm, but she was more the Earth Mother, uh, taking care of the children. But in the comic book, Storm was like an African goddess. She was a leader of a country and yeah, was really right. powerful. And, and she flew, like, with her cape, yeah. you know, not the airplane. So this time I really... It's the first time I really felt like an X-Man. The Wolverine character, they're going to spin off into his own series. Is that right? There's going to be a yeah. separate movie for Wolverine? Yeah, well, I, uh, my company and Fox are sort of developing that, so we're going to hopefully get that going. Well, he's a great... I mean, he's one of the most popular X-Men. I mean, Storm, of no, course, is as well. He is the but most popular Do you think so? Absolutely. Well, from the comic book, he's always been very popular, but, look, I, I, I think I love playing him and uh, the fans seem to like him. I'm lucky because if they didn't, they would literally spit on me because <laughs> the fans are passionate. Well, the fanboys are very kind of like, uh, very vocal as well, aren't they? When, when they know oh, a yeah. movie's being made, they come out in force and they often rubbish it before they've given it a chance. And presumably they've okayed both of you. They're, they're happy that you're both in these roles. They like us this time, I think. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, they're tough. You know, I remember when we made the first one, we would look on the internet and see what the real hardcore fans had to say. I mean, they can be really... They love these characters. Yeah. And, man, after the second storm, I would go outside after the second movie, and they would just, like, let me have it. So I they mean, didn't really, like the second film? They liked the film, but they didn't like Storm in it. Why not? Because they she thought, wasn't... They thought, you've sold out. Storm is more powerful. She's a warrior. You're just a, a wimp in the movie. Why do you let them do you like that? As if I, you know, as if... Wow. I have any power. Like, they're really vocal and, and they, they love these characters so much. And yeah. I, they took it out on me. On this, mm. I felt it. No, I mean, the, the fans, I have to say, they're unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, we were at uh, Mexico City last night. We were doing a premiere and, and they're, they're dressed up in the, you know, in the whole outfits. And well, we've all got superhero <laughs> costumes at home. I mean, everyone has <laughs> <laughs> yours, man? I've got a few. <laughs> Seriously, I have. Wonder Woman. Okay. Now, now listen. <laughs> it's just because I had a corset on. <laughs> I've got a Spider-Man outfit. I've got an Incredibles outfit. <laughs> Stop! Are you not laughing at me or with me? Yeah. With you, yeah. with you. All right. With you. Um, oh, before we move on from X-Men, uh, you know, I think these are the newest toys. Do you get any say in the toys? Because they kind of... This looks more like the comic book Wolverine than the film Wolverine, I think, there, his face. Yeah, that's more There the was some that... One. I've got one of you which really looks like you. Really? And we've got a Storm <laughs> one here. And once again, this is more like the comic book Storm, I think, <laughs> than you here. See, you, that's you... what my boy likes. Yeah, look at that. Would you care to... Play with yourselves. Play with. <laughs> <laughs> Want to play with this one? <laughs> I don't blame you. So, do you no. get Do you get any say over that kind of thing? The merchandising? Do they consult you guys? I don't really. Uh, I, I don't want it to look too like me. It's kind really? of a little freaky. Well, you know, people put in the freezer, stick pins in it, and all that kind of stuff. You know. <laughs> but uh, oh, the best that. bit of the best bit of merchandise was they on the first one they did a blow up punching bag. You know, those old things yeah. are down. Put yeah, a bit yeah. of water. And they did it of Wolverine. So, of course, I gave it to my son. I thought, this is like 
going to save me thousands of pounds in therapy <laughs> right here, you know? Take it out on yeah, Dave. Absolutely. I wish I had one on my own, but anyway, that was good. Um, I, well, I love the movie. Uh, it's great. I hope they make some more. And I don't know if they've got a fourth one planned. They're calling it The Last Stand, so maybe not. Yeah. You know. Well, I think the fans will dictate. You know, you and I disagree on this. Yeah. He thinks this is it. I think if the fans go out and really support this movie and say that they love it and they tell a friend to go see it and the box office reflects that they love it, I'm sure Fox would be happy to make another Yeah, one. if a movie's making money, they, they normally I mean, go back and make idiots. another one. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's talk about some other movies you've made separately. I'll start with you, Hallie, if I may. <laughs> <laughs> but please, I don't, don't wander off in a half, you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I, I've seen you in any number of fine films. Uh, Monsters Ball, of course, was just an incredible film. Oh, and what you. a remarkable thank performance. You. I mean, genuinely. Thank you. And it, for me, at least, I don't know about other people, but it kind of came out of left field because I, I didn't expect anything. I didn't know much about it. And then suddenly this film came in. It was so sort of like powerful and moving and, and uh, unfavorable. What oh, an achievement. Thank you. Uh, you must have known when you were making it, this was something special. You must no, have thought. No, you want to know the truth? I thought this was a movie that could very well end my career. It was a low, low budget movie. I got nothing to do with it. And I had this love scene with all this nudity. And I really thought, oh my God. If a, it's a very passionate, but very kind of explicit very scene. Very explicit. Yeah. And I thought, if, if, if people don't get it, you know, this, this will be bad. Yeah, brave of you. And, and yeah. it paid off, of course, because that's yeah. the film you got the Oscar for. Yeah. Uh, the, the winning the Oscar must have been, I would have thought, unexpected in that no one expects to win something when they turn up. Especially me. <laughs> Did you really think so? <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought I was the underdog. I thought for sure. You know, I, I never expected that. I actually thought Sissy Spacek was going to win. And I had prepared for that, and I was happy that I was even there and I'd come that far. So I was in utter... All I remember was Russell Crowe. I, I don't remember going up there. I don't remember my speech. I remember Russell Crowe looking at me saying, just breathe, mate. <laughs> just breathe, mate. <laughs> that, that's all I remember is his face. Nothing else about the whole... What a terrifying memory to have of the event. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I would have thought, if you want to take something away, not that, but, um, <laughs> you can't choose. Of course, you haven't won any big awards, Hugh, so yeah! I'd, I'd like to bring you in here, but really it would seem unkind. Hey, I, would hey, I don't want to be. <laughs> no, jo I'm joking. But, uh, after the event, do you find that suddenly you get um, all sorts of a different calibre of offer coming your way, or, or, or does it not really immediately have an impact on your career? You know, it does and it doesn't. I made a very clear decision right after that, you know what, it's, it's a wonder that I have this and I'm not going to change the way I've done my career. So, you know, I've gotten better offers, but I still have wanted to do fun things. You know, I did a little movie called Catwoman. <laughs> now, Catwoman. That you all penned in this country, thank you very much. But anyway, I'm over it. No, but you know what? Um, <laughs> but I loved making that movie. Okay. I really well, loved it. It wasn't the best comic book <laughs> film. It's, uh, it, well, it, no. was, it was, But it wasn't the worst by far. It wasn't the worst. No, and my daughter loves it, and I think she likes seeing Women you as do. a strong character. And it's Women a fun... love that, which is why I did it. Yeah. You know, you have to take risks. And, and so after an Oscar, I never want to stop taking risks and chances like that. I still want to have fun. You know what shows you in a, in a tremendously good light, I think, is that obviously you turned up for your Oscar, but you also turned up, you were yeah. awarded for your role <laughs> in Catwoman, a Razzie, which is the award for the single worst performance on screen. Now, yeah, <laughs> now I think it's unfair they gave it to you that, because it really wasn't the worst performance. But the fact that you turned up to accept it really uh, shows you in a good light. <laughs> good, but why did you do that? Because obviously that's something which most people, yeah. especially in your line of it, would not. Well, I just wanted to take the piss out on them because they were taking it out on me. And I'm able to laugh at myself, you know? And, 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 and it was probably the best thing I could have done because honestly, I had a real moment. As, as, as wonderful as it was to be at the Oscars, when I walked out, nobody thought I would show up. So when I showed up, the applause I got and the appreciation for being there yeah. was so tremendous. In that moment, I thought, and it's a wonderful thing. It's probably what kind of meant in an endearing way as well. It's not yeah. an out-and-out -out mean thing. I mean, it's kind of no. like, you know, it's a, it's a fun thing. So yeah, I guess it wasn't yeah, it, it was good. Yeah. Um, let, well, well, we'll talk to you in a minute about but some still of still, they're all I mean... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on! <laughs> That's a fun. I feel so good being able to say that word. Because we together. can't say that at home, but I can say... <laughs> <laughs> I love it! I love it! Oh. We'll, do an, we'll do an edit there, probably. <laughs> yes, I too have read Nietzsche. Hugh, um, <laughs> well, well, con but congratulations again. I think it really, I really, I mean, I, I always liked you on screen, but it really made me feel like, as a person, not that I know you, but I thought there's someone who I, I'm sure I would like, and I oh. think most people felt that way. Thank so you. it was Thank a great you. thing to do. Congratulations. It was, you. you know, nice. Thank you. Um, Hugh, you know, we were talking about Hallie's career and the way she, yeah. she makes choices. What I admire about you, is, and it's quite interesting, is that obviously you have a movie career going great guns, but you obviously love 
doing stage work, and you, you seem to love musicals. I know you've just done one in New York a little while back, and that was a pretty big hit for you as well, wasn't it? Yeah, it went well. I, 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 I don't plan things that much, but when I, when I studied, I studied in theatre. And uh, to be honest, musicals was the last thing I thought I'd do. I studied uh, sort of like straight theatre, and then there was musical theatre down the road. And so I did the straight theatre, because I, I love musicals, and I've had a great opportunity. I've worked here in London. And, uh, and you've got a great singing voice, haven't you? I do all right, you know, but I don't think it's great, but I do okay. Now, now Hugh, uh, your next movie is uh, yes. going to be, and this is exciting news, uh, not just that you're in another film, of course, but, wow, I can't believe who you're starring with in this, or who's one of the characters in it. You're working with David Bowie. David Bowie, yeah. yeah, yeah. In a it's movie a, called Prestige. The Prestige, which is directed by uh, Chris Nolan, who did Memento and oh, Batman. Great and, director. Uh, Christian Bale and Michael Caine, Scarlett Johansson and, and Bowie. Wow. So, uh, well, now life, that is a tremendous yeah, cast, isn't it? it? Wow. Well, I was very lucky. I loved the film. And, uh, you know, the thing is... He's unbelievably nice, like disarmingly nice. And uh, so I got to know him pretty well. And after a few days, I told him a story, which is true, that when I, when I was 13, it was 1981, he toured to Australia. And uh, I saved up all my money to go to his concert. I remember it was 20 bucks, which for me was a lot of money. That was probably like six months of saving. Wow. And the morning, I was so excited. I go to school in a recess. Couldn't get a ticket for Bowie in 1981. This kid goes, you got a ticket for Bowie? And I was like, yeah. He goes, I'll give you 50 bucks. And I said, great. So I took <laughs> And I stupidly told him. And I thought, you know, I was 13, and he kind of looked at me like, so you're in this for the money then, are you, mate? <laughs> uh, thank you so much for coming. Good thank luck you. with the X-Men movie. Thank I'm sure with it. And good luck with your careers. You're both tremendous thank actors, you. and I thank, I thank you so much for being here this evening. Good to see you. Ladies and gentlemen, Hugh Jackman and Halle Berry. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Halle, it was a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can I take this? You have it. I'll send you some over. Fabulous. Girl.